Ah, uh, playing with my, uh, my chest. Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because look what I have for you here. This is a full bamboo frame that I found on eBay after the excitement of riding wooden bars, a full wooden bike and wooden wheels, I thought I'd have a little look on eBay and see what I could find. And this is the best thing I could come up with. So I'm really excited to give this a go. We're going to build this up into a kind of jump bike style first, and then later on, I want to fit the wooden wheels and wooden bars to make a totally sketchy and horrible thing. But look at all this work on here. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I don't really know how strong it is. And without the wheel, the back end does that, which is so gnarly. I have heard online that bamboo is somehow stronger than steel, and we're gonna find that out today. So let's get this beast built up and uh, see what we can do. First thing we wanna do is fit the bottom bracket then. And obviously, as you've noticed, we have moved inside because it is so freezing these days in England. But that's not gonna stop the fun once it's fitted. Let's get both of these bearings on. Not sure how tight to go on this frame because obviously I don't even know what that stuff is there. Drive side goes through. Yes. Oh, perfect. I thought there might be a bit of an issue with the width of the back end here, but no, lovely. Let's get the other side on. Little spacer on and this side crank arm. There we go, cranks are on. Now we're gonna fit this headset, top and bottom. Yeah, like a glove. Let's put some forks on. I've got an old pair of Mazaki bombers for this. They're looking like they might not have enough out the top. Should work out though. Got some bars here, they're gonna fit perfectly. That bit of persuasion has really, really worked out quite well. Bars are on and the fork. So let's get the front wheel on as that's easier. There we go, front wheel on. Now the finishing touches are the back wheel. R is. I now have my 26 inch Halo Chaos rear wheel to put on. And as you can see, like a glove, that has just fitted. Got myself a chain here. It's made up of two different chains though, which makes it more exciting and sort of adds to the personality of this strange bike. This is quite the fiddle. There we go. That's the chain connected with ease. We then put it around the sprocket there, pedal it forward and notice that it is miles too long. Oh, um, luckily we got horizontal dropouts though. So a little tip with single speed, you can tighten it up extra tight this side while the other side's undone and then you can push on the other side and then do that up and you give yourself a tight chain without a tensioner, which is very nice and good to know. It's now time for a back brake. A little bit of faff later. We have the back brake on. We're just gonna have a back brake only, especially where I live front brake isn't necessary on trails. Yeah, there we go. Awesome, we just need to cable tie this cable down now and then it's almost ready to go. Quite excessive. Now we just need one finishing touch, which is the seat here. I just found a seat clamp off my trial bike, which fits on there pretty perfectly. And then the jump bike saddle which we can ram down there, and there we go. The bike's finished, so I think it's time to get some pads on, get out of here and give this thing a shreddy, come on. We just made it into the local woods. There's frost on the floor, it is freezing, but this bike looks so cool that it's heating things up. Look at it, it's ridiculous. The bamboo tubes here are actually still slightly out of line just from how they've grown, which is amazing. The way it's all connected together, just is, it just looks so funky and weird and I'm so stoked that it's all been built up 
and works properly. Now the first thing you want to do is hit a trail here, but on my ride down I did notice that this is literally the most flexible thing ever. I'm not really sure how much pressure this thing's actually going to take and I'm mostly worried about the head tube. If I land heavily and that pops off, huge die. So what we're going to do is head over there, there's more of a rollable trail, make our way down that, see if I survive, then we'll ramp it up a bit before moving on. Come on. I'm now at the top of the first trail we're going to ride and the only good thing about these freezing conditions is that there's no like wet mud anymore because it's all frozen. So let's get into it. I want to start off a bit slowly because it literally flexes so much but let's fly down and slowly try and gain some trust in this frame. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, feels pretty good actually. Ooh. Wow. Feeling a bit more trust on this frame now. Wow. Oh, jumps are well scary. Right from the next trail then, and I'm going to pray that head tube doesn't come off. We've got three doubles in a row as the start, and then there's a few berms with little shark fins and stuff. I think it's going to be strong, but I just can't fathom the forks falling off in this temperature. Oh. Here we go, dropping in. First jumps on this thing. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Feels actually sick. Oh, that was a good dose of fear for the first test on this bike. It's just anything wood, it just doesn't sit in your mind right that it's going to work with that much force. But so far, it's working great. So we're going to go to tomorrow now and get more intense on this ridiculous frame. Come on. It's now day two of this bamboo biking bonanza and we decided to come to the local pump track where we can see how this thing's gonna... What is that? Oh. Wait. What is that? What is that? Oh! Oh my god, it's a it's a monster energy cone. Wait, it's oh, oh, oh my god, it must be cracking on your clock! Whoa! <laughs> This is a brand new Lewis Hamilton Monster Energy. We're about to taste test it before we have this session. Come on guys, go past. We're just vlogging, don't worry. Here's the first taste of the Lewis Hamilton Monster Energy, zero sugar. Better be good, Lewis. Fully cracked. Lewis. Whoa, I feel energized. My senses are heightened. Biking's about to go down, let's. The reason I wanted to come here is to see how this flexes when we go hard around some of these berms and hopefully we can get a few like manual lines, get the front wheel up, a few little jumps and stuff. Let's do a first lap just to feel it out. It's actually, oh, it's ice on that berm. It's actually feeling really good. Oh my God, there's ice there as well. That's so sketch. It's really light. Like the cool thing about it is it, it's definitely lighter than my jump bike because this is just wood. But look at that. When you hit it, that's how loose it actually is, the frame. Let's see if we can, um, well, I'll see if I can manual that section. Don't even know if I can manual it, really. We'll go off that first bump and then just 
go the whole way. Let's have it. Oh God, it's so difficult with that long back end. Oh, almost there. Yes, stomped. There we go, got the manual then. It's definitely feeling different to the jump bike because the back wheel's further away from the seat tube, which makes it a bit harder to manual, but stomp that. I want to get a bit of air, kind of nervous, because like when I pedal the whole thing, look, just flexes. I don't really know how much energy it can take, but we'll do the classic line where you go over here and launch out of there. It feels super solid, actually. There's something quite nice about how it rides. Like a stir, I'm still landing as light as possible, but even like nose mannying over that stuff, it feels cool. Let me try and get a suey out. Let's go slow-mo. World's first suey bamboo bike. I mean, someone's probably done it anyway, but for the excitement, come on. There we go, it sueys perfectly. And although it's super flexible, it has got some strength to it. It feels really strong when I land. It's just, when I was taking off, it took a few goes to actually get my hands off because it's flexing up the takeoff, it's quite weird. I've seen quite a fun thing here, actually. Let's move out of the pumpy and have a look. Look at this little roundabout, which has been made for this cool little pirouetting move. Some trials features over here. The trials option I said about was actually super icy and way too sketch, but on looking for another trials spot, we found a perfect hip. I'm gonna hit that flat out and see how it is. Maybe not totally flat out, but fast enough to get air. Oh, oh. that's weird. I, like with the back all, almost being longer than this you get kicked forward. Let me at least try and get a table on it. Maybe we slow. <laughs> ah, playing with my, uh, my chest. Um, when will I learn? Oh, oh. Did you get that in slow, Louis? Okay. I actually, uh, did I cut my face, look. Nah. Okay. Um, I actually really thought that the, the head tube was the last thing that was gonna break. Oh. What I'm also happy about is that it's so cold and now we can go in. Ow! No, I'm not happy. That's so painful. That was one of my favourite bikes though, to be honest. Yeah, let's look at this and see what's actually happened because... Yeah, look. It's actually so cool though to see... It is literally ta like fibres. I mean... What did we say it was? Like, um, no, but the, I can't even think. Yes, yeah, string, that's it, yeah. Ow! I need to review that and sit for a second. That was uh, quite scary, actually. That slow-mo is probably the best clip that I've ever seen. Like, let's, like, look at that bit there again. Look, I'm super slow, crunch. That's why my chest hurts. I'm really surprised I didn't get hurt more, to be honest. I don't know if I should continue pushing the boundaries of these 
stupid bikes that much more does get a little bit ridiculous, doesn't it, at some point? I mean, how many times can one survive such a manoeuvre, you know? <laughs> Upside of this happening is that it actually fits even easier in the truck, because you just do that, and that, and that, and it's gone. Well, good. Ah. Unfortunately then, there's actually no bike left to ride. So on that bombshell of absolute fun, excitement, bamboo bikes, crashes, and danger, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments, and it'd be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. <laughs>